There's a lot to love about Thrivecart, but out of the box, it doesn't work with many autoresponders like Modic. Now I love Modic and I love Thrivecart, so I found a way to make them work together, and that's what this video is all about. Hi everyone, I'm Dave Swift, and I am the Managing Director at ClientAmp, a digital marketing agency in the Twin Cities. Now I don't usually make YouTube videos, but I just watched Adam at WP Crafters' great Thrivecart review, and he mentioned that you can't use Modic with Thrivecart. And I thought, well, that's not right because I'm doing it. So I'm making this quick video to show you exactly how you can set up Thrivecart to work with nearly any autoresponder that uses HTML forms, which is just about all of them, I think. So it's really simple. I'm gonna head over to this Modic installation. This is a relatively fresh Modic installation, just a few weeks old, uh, and I've got two forms set up. So inside of this Modic installation, there's a form called Abandoned Cart and another one called Purchase Successful. Uh, I could show you both of these, but they're essentially, the process to integrate with Thrivecart is basically the same. So I'll just show you uh, the Abandoned Cart. It might be a little more interesting. So what you do is you create a form. Now, in this case, the form has the fields just first name, last name, and email address. It's all that uh, Thrivecart will actually send over. So if you need more information than that, uh, you're out of luck in this case. But for most people, I think that's all we need to grab. And then the action that's taking after someone fills out the form is that they're given a tag called abandoned cart. And of course that would send them through the marketing funnel, uh, sending them uh, eventually mark, you know, abandoned cart emails to, to remind them to complete their purchase. So what you do over on uh, the Thrivecart side of things is you need to have a product created and uh, you know, basically needs to be ready to go. And you've got two fields that we need to copy and paste some code into. The first one is over here where it says behavior. What you're gonna do is click on behavior and then you're gonna add a rule. And I've actually already done this here. If I click add rule, what I'd want to do is uh, when your customer abandons the cart, use custom HTML. And then I'm just gonna paste in a code here that I'm gonna grab from Modic or whatever autoresponder you, you're using, you can do that in a second. So let's do that now. I'll hop back over to Modic and I'm inside that abandoned cart form. And I'll just click over here where it says manual copy. Now for the behaviors field, I want the bottom code. Behaviors bottom, that's how I remember it. So uh, you're gonna select that code, hit Command C or Control C, head back over to Thrivecart and just paste that in and then hit save. Now there is one little checkbox here, which is pretty cool. Nice touch of Thrivecart to add in. You can only run it in specific locations. Uh, basically the default setting here is where you're probably gonna leave it and that's only outside of the EU. That gets you around any uh, GDPR uh, issues that might come up. So for this case, I'm just gonna leave it unchecked. I hit save and now I've got that rule added. It's, it's uh, this one right here that I just added. I've already got it added, so I'm actually gonna remove it here. Okay, and then we'd have to actually go one further step, which is to grab this top field, copy that. Now we're gonna go to a different part of the Thrivecart uh, checkout process. Uh, we're gonna click right here where it says checkout, and then over where it says tracking. In this case, we're gonna paste this uh, in the, the tracking code section where it says, paste tracking code to all of this product's pages. So we're gonna just paste it right there. And I've already actually done that. You go ahead and hit save and boom, you're all set up. Cardabana e emails will be sent if you've got them set up in your autoresponder. It's not quite as easy as like one click, ready to go. This is, you know, two paste of fields. And then you have to actually create the form. So a little bit more work, uh, but it's not too bad. It's, it's pretty reasonable. So that's it. This should work for just about any autoresponder that's not natively supported as long as it has that HTML form. So go ahead, create a form, and it's probably got some way for you to embed that on your site. You're just gonna copy and paste that code inside of uh, Thrivecart and you're good to go. All right, that's all for this video. If you like it, make sure you uh, hit the like button and you can feel free to subscribe and maybe we'll make some more videos like this. All right, thanks for watching.